third floor, our office building, and the we are all encased by like windows. And it's snowing. It's our first snow of the season. I'm gonna take you out and show you. Happy Vlogmas Day, by the way. It is Wednesday, December 5th, about 12 o'clock. I'm on my lunch break, so I'm gonna run. I don't know, it's so hard for me to eat. I don't know how I'm gonna eat. It's a wet one, a wet snow, but it is snowing. All right, ready? I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Oh, you might see it land on me. Um, there you go, you can see it. It's coming down. It's so pretty. It's not gonna stick, it's too warm. But it is our first, our first snow. So there, you guys can see. Yeah. All right, um, I know I need a Starbucks. I was late getting out this morning because I had to take care of all the five animals before I left and they made me late. And the baby kitty is obnoxiously crazy. Oh, sorry, crossing. <laughs> See, I almost got hit by a car. All right, um, she wouldn't like go where, she, where I was trying to put her and she had, every time I went to pick her up, she'd scoot under the bed. She made me late. I might, I had brought a couple of boxes with me today. I have, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do them because I gotta run and get food. I don't know how much time I have. And we, for work, we're adopting a family. There's something called Mercy Mall. And I need to get some presents for that too. So I don't know if I'll be able to do these today, but just in case I did bring them. So I have my seat crate in today. And guys, so you guys know this is all beach here, it is snowing. Treasure Secret winner! That means I won, I won something. So I'm excited to really get into that and see what's in there. And then this is by Gaia Collective. This is a moon box. I haven't videoed my last two moon boxes and I love, love, love them. It's just been time that I haven't done them. So hopefully I can do one of the moon boxes with you guys as well. So you can see what that is because that would be a new subscription to you guys. You haven't seen that yet. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know what though? I so you know that that Stitch Fix trench coat jacket that had a rip in the back. I didn't know what to do with it because it was a perfectly good jacket. Wanted a family in need to be able to use it. We have a family that we're doing that has four adults and three children, and the mother of two of the kids is 17 years old, and she needs a jacket. And while it won't be a really great warm winter jacket, it is a protectant. It gets a windbreaker. It's kind of nice and it's, you know, it's for rain and stuff, but it has a hood. So I think I'm going to, because we can donate, if it's in good condition, we can donate some used things too. But then we're also buying like presents and clothing and food for the family so they can actually, and they're going to wrap their own gifts, which is what they prefer. Um, so I might donate that jacket to the family that we have adopted for the holidays. That's what I think we're going to do. That's a that's an answered prayer because I really just didn't want to give that to Goodwill. I wanted to give it to a family that I knew could use it for the holidays because, you know, what if there's a homeless person who needs a coat and he's out in the rain and this would at least protect from that. So it was a good good jacket. So, all right, I'm gonna run go. I got I'll be back in a little bit and I'll talk to you guys some more. Um, maybe show you one of these boxes. I'll be back. Bye. Okay, <laughs> I cannot bump. I have you guys rigged inside the steering wheel of my car, <laughs> so I got to be careful so that if I move or bump it, you're falling. All right, so I want to show you guys Moon Box. This is such a cool box, and this time of year, it is so needed. I don't know if you can read that, but it says a monthly checkup for the soul, and then it says aligned with the cycles of the moon. So this follows the cycles of the moon. And they send you a box and it's just good sometimes this time of year when it's insane life is crazy everybody's pulling at you a lot to do you guys are volunteering you're taking care of your own kids you're cooking you're decorating you're buying gifts it's expensive month the most expensive month and you don't ever slow down to take a little time for you that's what I think of when I think of the moon box so um, we're gonna get in here whatever is in here it's smelling my whole car up I hope nothing spilled because Oh, it smells amazing. So let's see if we can pop this sucker open. Get in our box. Okay, 
got nails, so it's hard to get in here. Oh, but I think we're getting it. So do you see it sort of just supposed to just slide off, but this, this thing is like packed to the brim of goodies. Maybe, let's see. Oh my goodness, okay. I've had, this is my third, I think my third shipment of this. And I will find the website. I don't even remember how much it is or anything. I do think that this one is not super cheap, like in the $30 or $40 range. So it's a little bit more of an expensive box. I don't even know how they got, I might have to rip the box, this cover on here because it's that tight. All right, hold on. Whew. Five minutes later. Okay. So it looks like we have um, something like a little calendar of the cycles of the moon. That's what I think this is. This is for December. On the bottom, you have your um, you have all your signs of the of astrology. There's Sagittarius. That's what I am, and so it's going to tell you that on the 18th of the month, we're going to have almost a full moon. And the 19th, it looks like this is where you're hitting your full moon. Um, so my birthday is December 15th, so it looks like we'll have about not uh, not a quite a full moon there. So that's kind of neat just to see like where the moon's going to be. Um, and this is how astrology plays a role in the moon. I mean, it's hot in here too. And the cycles of the moon. So um, it says, honor the lunar cycle. Each time around brings fertile ground for growth. What do you want to bring to life with this lunar cycle? Set your intention and meditate on it. Take action by practicing rituals and daily mantras that align with your dreams and goals. And then there is step-by-step -step rituals, teacher recordings and videos, plus more on Moonly guidance and resources on their website, which is moonbox.com. Um, and so it has a little sheet on here that says, with this new moon, my intention is with the first quarter moon, I take, I take action towards, so it's almost like your goal setting by the stages of the moon, which is interesting. All right, so then we have, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at in here. Here's all the goodness in there. Um, this usually has the featured items in here. And it says, the mantras are, I aim for knowledge and understanding with positivity and optimism. I spread consciousness and I am light. Those are your mantras. It says, illumination happens so often we can become jaded to it. We, we can forget to notice the magic. Hold on. Robert interrupted me, so let's try this again. And I had to reposition you guys. So it says, illumination happens so often we can easily become jaded to it. We can forget to notice the magic because we get so used to it. For example, every day the sun rises and lights up our sky with hues of white, orange, yellow, purple, and blue. This alone is a daily occurrence of how the light conquers the dark. Throughout December, we will be given little glimpses of light through the lineup of cosmic occurrences. Think of each major cosmic date as an opportunity to open up, lighten up, and illuminate kindness that lives in your timeless soul. First, Mercury, Mercury retrograde ends, hooray, and is followed immediately afterwards by a new moon in Sagittarius, which I like. So just a couple of days later, Mercury enters Sagittarius as well. This brings in a strong surge of the element of fire, shedding light upon our deepest dreams and desires and potential life journeys. Towards the end of the month, the full moon in Cancer lines up with the start of Capricorn season and the winter solstice. Capricorn season ends all the fiery Sagittarius influence and takes a turn towards the calm, driven, and steady, tenacious, steadily tenacious. To keep things bright, Cancer energy and winter solstice inspire hopeful, intuitive, and community-oriented thinking. A full moon is always a great occasion to celebrate, but try keeping things intimate and meaningful this time around. This just might be the perfect day to engage in non-judgmental educational conversations or begin musing on a new wave of thought. While December is the darkest month of the year with shorter days and colder nights, it's also a period of incubation and hibernation so that we, so that we can create something new and beautiful in the spring. It may be dark outside, but it is necessarily so. Darkness guides us into our um, into ourselves to find our own personal light to share with each other. From that space, we're able to connect more authentically with others and create warmth in our hearts, homes, friendships, and families to keep spreading love, kindness, consciousness, and above all, light in the fierce of, in the face of any darkness. I love that. I love that. So let's start getting in here. So the first thing I'm seeing is white sage. Let's see if it's on here. It smells really good. 
from Molly with love. Yes, it did. It did leak a little bit, and it smells really good. All right, so it says, um, "Hooray! Mercury is finally stationed direct, opening up the pathways to communication and releasing old patterns of thinking. Spray away the stale and welcome the new." Um, spray into all corners of your space as you visualize what needs to be cleansed away and what you would like to stay. Mark the start of some new beginning and infuse your space with fresh, clean vibes. This is really nice. This is more than um, this is more than just sage, though, because I can smell like some sort of. Um, so it has rose, citrus. That's what I'm smelling. Lemon and reiki charged pink Himalayan sea salt. And, all right. So this did leak. So I'm going to open this up real quick tighten our little cap on here and I'm actually gonna spray it in the car because um, a I like the scent and my car doesn't smell so great right now so I'm gonna smell spray that in here but also if I'm cleansing the space the car's been recently in a couple of accidents and so I probably need to cleanse the outside of the vehicle people are hitting me um, so that smells so good all right so that's our first thing in there I got it all over my hands so my hands are all nice and oily now all right so the next thing I am seeing in here what is this? Looks like there's, these must be our crystals. And it's gonna be hard to open them because now my hands are oily. Oh goodness gracious, okay. So there's a bunch of different crystals in here. Four of them, I think. Okay, so this looks like it is tiger's eye, just, just from looking at it, with the layers in it. I'm thinking that this is probably tiger's eye. And it is a raw piece of tiger's eye. And then this, yep, this is labradite. You can see labradite has hidden little windows, like when you turn it, where you'll see different colors. Um, I was seeing it right there on the bottom. You see the silvery moon kind of colors that come in and out when you turn it to the light. I don't know what this one is, so we're going to show this to you, but it is yellow. We'll learn about what this is. That one actually had its own little box, so I'm guessing that maybe that's a collector's piece. And then this looks like maybe a wand or a point or something. Yep. This looks like a... Um, it's got something else in it too, but it's um it's a quartz point, but then it's got something else in it. I don't know what that is. Oops, as I drop it. Okay, so we're gonna look and find out what these things are and see if it tells us. Okay. Crystals. Labradite, so that's this one, for magic making. Place on the third eye, the rough tiger's eye, which is what I said for grounding and good luck and motivation. Place on your root or solar, solar plexus chakra. Um, this must be brucite for willpower and tenacity. Place on your solar plexus. Meditate with any or all on body or in left hand. And then your premium stone is the quartz point. Quartz is the key time keeper of earth and helps create connection with intention. Hold it nearby and or place any near any of the other stones to elevate their energy. I, sorry, I do know that this um, will charge your stones. Um, the quartz is a very, very powerful crystal. So I could use this one. So I could use my, my tiger's eye for motivation. This is for magic making, motivation. And then I could use this for willpower and tenacity to get my work done. And then I could use the this to amplify all of the intention and of these crystals. So that's a good little crystal combo to have. I'm gonna put them back in my little baggie. A lot of times what I'll do is when I get new crystals, I will spray them like you could, that has oils, citrus oils, and I don't want oils on my crystals. So, um, but I do have smudge and spray at home, which I can use. Um, to cleanse those crystals as other people have been holding on to them. Okay, so then it looks like maybe we have some incense here. This is Sacred Elephant. We've gotten incense from them before, but this one is 10 of them, and they're in the scent Cinnamon Spice. And it says, Cinnamon's a highly prized spice. It's been used in biblical times, warming and soothing by nature. The scent is popular in forms of slow, relaxing yoga and deep meditation. So this will be, Cinnamon is a great scent to burn for Christmas time. I love cinnamon. 
Oh yeah, total cinnamon. So we have those. All right, it tells you how to use them, but I mean, I think you know how to use incense. Okay, so then there's, oh, these are so cute. Look at these. So, but I don't see them. I don't see them on here, but these are lunar lifted, by Lunar Lifted, they are Druzy earrings, um, and it says every purchase helps support our efforts and collaborations that focus on inspiring women to take back their powers so they can live a magic and fulfilling life. And I love them. They're pink. These are going to go with so many of my clothing outfits. Look at them. Are they cute or what? I really, really love them. Those are going to be so much fun. They don't match with what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing turquoise, oops, and this is all twisted. Um, and I'm wearing it with the um, Kendra Scott Mood Change necklace, which is actually a couple different colors right now because it was, it's, it's a little chilly. So if I warm up, it'll change colors and be a little more green. But I love that. Um, so that, usually there is a piece of jewelry that is put into here. Um, so this is Bella Luna Lip Balm. It is coconut oil, rosehip oil, shea butter, beeswax, and essential oils. I gotta watch the time. So let me pull this in so you guys can see. Okay. And it says, um, water element rules the sign, cancer full moon. We wanna do everything we can to bring moisture to our skin. Watch your words today and keep your things light and bright. It smells nice. So this is just for your lips. So if you have like, it says you could also use it on elbows, heels, or knuckles, like if you have cracked skin. So this must be some, some powerful lip salve, which we always need. <laughs> In the winter here, we always need it. All right, and then there is something here, something else here. And it looks like there is a, is that from the earrings? Julia Park, creator and healer. Luna lifted. Nope, this is something else. Redefined rare earth elements. Okay, so that's different. I love those earrings. All right, so let's see what's in here. Oh, how beautiful this is. This must be who created. That's who that little card was. Look at this. This is an agate nightlight. So it's got the light in it already, and you just got your switch to turn it on or off, and you just plug that sucker Yep, you just plug that in. It's blue agate, and it's going to be a beautiful light for... Actually, I'll put that in my bathroom downstairs, which is blue. That's I love that. That's absolutely gorgeous. What a fun gift. So this was my moon box. Um, so I think we went through everything. So it just says the uh, Sag Sagittarius is ruled by the element of fire light in this case. These little lanterns, that's what you just saw, are perfect for illuminating of any space. They give you a little bit of guidance to help you see through the dark. Um, and you just plug it in and it's low voltage. So that's it. So that is my moon box for the month of December. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I do still plan on trying to do my fashion box when I get home tonight. And I told Robert he's just going to have to deal because I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do it. So, um, but I love this box. They always give me really beautiful things and things that I can use. And I really just enjoy getting it. And I, I like seeing the cycles of the moon and how, and it kind of gives you like a little forecast of how the moon affects our daily lives. And I just love that too. So anyway, that's that box. I'll see you guys all pretty soon, probably in a little bit after I get off of work. I got a lot of work to do. Hoping I'm not working late. The rain uh, or the snow has gone. It has just left a little bit of a wet mess. And Robert said back by where we live, which is about 45 minutes south of where I work, um, he said it rained really, or it snowed really heavy, but it's like 40 degrees, so it didn't stick. So um, I'm going to finish drinking my very um, high fat, low calorie, no sugar vanilla latte. <laughs> um, per my keto diet and enjoy that because I didn't get to get one this morning and I'll see you guys all again a little bit hey later guys, today. Hey guys, it's Terry. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, excuse the noise. Dishes are being done in there, but I have to get this up for you. So I hope you can 
power through. Maybe don't listen to this one on your headphones. Um, okay, so I want to try to get this Fashion video back up for you. Fashion is a styling service. It's not really monthly though. You use it as much or as little as you want. When you request a box, you just request one. And they have an app. It's free to download. It's F-A-S-H-A-O-M. There we go. So you see. If you sign up using my link, you will get $10 credit to use towards your first box and I will get $10 credit as well. Um, they have, I think your first two boxes are free, so you don't have a styling fee. I think after that it's $15, which is pretty, pretty low compared to some of the other ones. The only other one that I know of that is less than that is mix and match is normally more but they have had a special for quite some time for um, where you can get a box for five bucks so but your first two boxes would be free for fashion plus you'll get the ten dollars credit and um, they send you about five to seven items to look at on a preview on the app and you pick out five of them and they ship you five the difference with fashion is if you keep three of the items you get 25 percent off which is a really nice perk um, it makes budgeting easier. It makes getting a really good deal easier. You set your price points on the style profile so you don't have to worry about them sending you items that are like way about above your budget. And I have found with them that they really do send me items in my budget range and you'll see when you see these prices. So I have five items here. I already did the whole try on. I tried everything on and then the video got corrupted. That's Miss Arrow. Arrow! What's her doing, babies? She likes that blanket. That is why I have the blanket there because she does that and she will do that on the couch and I don't want her putting holes in the couch so that is double wrapped so that she can have her little spot. Okay, so they give you your mailing envelope to mail anything back free of charge to you that you don't want or not interested in. Hi. Hi, babies. Well, say hi to everybody on YouTube. This is say hi, Arrow. Oh, <laughs> that was Nitro. Give an arrow a kiss. Nitro likes the cats. He's good with the kitties. Chopper, not so much. Chopper knows that this one rules the house, though. So he leaves this one alone because she's badass. This cat is, she's something. She will chase him and beat his tail. So he does not mess with Miss Arrow. She was a, she was an alley cat and a uh, little baby kitten when we got her. And she is feisty, but she's also very, very loving and very, very sweet. So she's a good baby. All right, so... Um, so back to fashion. So let's get going with this. So let me start by showing you the first item I received. They are a pair of paw and ankle pants in mocha, size medium, and they are $45. These are fantastic for work. Um, I really like the color of these, and I also like this detailing, which I'm about to show you. So they're flat front, which I love for work, because you guys know that I hate when my buttons and zippers show. Um, and they have this like leather strip of really pretty detailing. There we go on the pockets on both sides okay these are so cute and i i will tell you that um in this box since i tried everything on i do have a couple items i need to exchange one's too big and one's too small um it's not really too small but it's too snug and it's, it's snugger than my comfort level so but these fit great i'm keeping these wait to see the try on because this box is the funnest fashion box that i think i've ever gotten and it is the most festive box that I've ever gotten in my in any of my box subscriptions ever so then to go with that is this beautiful sparkly thing so this is the metallic drape back top also in medium in gold this is $38 and this is such a fun top for the this time of year right all right so the front the front is just like this this is part of the back here so this is just the front it's just a comes down real cutesy gold shiny it looks surprisingly well, and I will try it on with these mocha pants. Maybe it's better to show it that way. Okay, so that it looks really cute. But the, the thing about this that is so fun is the back. So let me show you the back. It's got a really beautiful drape back neck. Very sexy. All right, so we're going to try that on for you. And that's only $38. This next top I need to exchange for a size down. It is loose like all up in here. It's like gaping real bad. So we're gonna go down to size. This is by Kim and Cammy. Um, oh, I didn't tell you who the other two are by. All right, so this one might also be by Kim and Cammy. Let me look. Yeah, so this is by Kim and Cammy. The pants are from Retrology, okay? 
All right, so this is a mock neck. It comes up like this, and it's, as you can see, it's got this beautiful black silver shimmer. It is see-through, but I wore it with a nude um, strapless, and I did the try-on, and that seemed to work just fine. I might, though, also put like shapewear that comes up on the belly that's black, too, just to give a little extra coverage with this, but it is a real pretty just long... It's, it's really long. Um, this is gonna go down a size. The problem with this is these armholes were a little too big, so they were like sort of just gapping right here. So I'm gonna go down to a medium in this because I think this is a large. Yeah, so I'm gonna go down to a medium. But the back of this is also super sexy. Look, guys, it's got the same drape back. And it's just, it's really pretty. It's really sexy for the holidays. And I think it is really cute. So that one is $40. Okay, this next one I am going to size up in. This is a petite cowl neck sweater. This is a petite medium. I'm gonna go up to a petite large. I could get away with the petite medium, but for comfort reasons, I'm not going to. It, I just don't, I know I wouldn't wear it because it's, I love it, but it's too snug on me. It's just too not unforgiving. So it's a sweater dress. And then let me show you the cowl neck because it's really pretty actually. Oh, I just showed you it backwards. Hold on. This is by Sandra Darren. Sandra Darren. All right. So see if you guys can see that. So it's got this cute, cool buckle, um, double buckle. Um, there's the front. And it's really short. So it is a short sweater dress, but with tights and boots, it's going to look really cute for the winter. And I will feel more comfortable in tights than I would in bare legs with this. Plus, I'm thinking it's really short, but I think if I have a petite large, it'll give me like a, maybe another inch too, plus a little room because I mean, it, it's it's a, it's a tight fitting like bodycon sweater dress. So, but it's pretty and I really like it. And it is 53. So um, this was actually the most expensive thing in the box and that's not bad. So it's, it's nice quality too. So we're gonna try that on. Then, dun, 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 get ready. So the most amazing thing in the box, you ready? Look, look, oh, peek. Look at this, ah, sequins. So this is a great New Year's Eve dress or Christmas party dress, going out on the town, going to a dance in with your girlfriends at a club dance dress. It's gold and black sequins. It is a mini skirt, guys, so it's short. So I don't wanna hear anybody say, no, that's too short for you. It's supposed to be short. Um, it's super cute on. It does require like some Spanx <laughs> so to, to be real comfortable because it's sequins, it kind of highlights all your curves and so the belly curve is like pronounced. So the back has this cute little opening, this little triangle opening or inverted triangle. Um, that's the back. <clears throat> it is just a slip-on and it also is really nice quality. It's fully lined and this is a nice like nice thick liner in here too. So this dress is $47. This is a medium. So this fits fine. I'm going to keep it in a medium and we're going to try all this on. Now the, the total box cost is $223. If you kept all of it, you get the 25% off. Actually, if I just kept three, I'd get the 25, but for purposes of ease, 25% off the entire box would be $167.25. I have credit from you guys of $120. That means I can get this entire box of five items for 47 bucks. And I love everything. There was nothing in here that I didn't like. So we're going to get to trying this on and hope that the video Here's doesn't Holiday outfit time. number one. This is the um, gold metallic drape back top and the pants. And I love the whole outfit. I think it's super cute. Um, I have it untucked and I'll tuck it in and show you what that looks like too. But this fits great. It's nice and loose, lots of room, very comfortable. I think this would be cute for a holiday party. It's sparkly. It's it's um, got a little touch of sexy. Right back here. I don't know if that's sitting right. I can't, can't see it, but you guys can see it. I can't see my bra showing. I can do it like that. So... What do you guys think? I think this is super cute. And I think this is a great little outfit for the holidays. Let me show it to you with the front tuck. So there it is, kind of tucked in. And I think it looks actually looks really good both ways, but can you see this with some really pretty gold, um, gold pumps? How cute this outfit would be? I think it's a flattering outfit. 
in or out. All right. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it, guys? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to try the next one on. Okay, guys, so this one needs a little work on the collar. It's kind of funky. I think it's going to need to be ironed, but I'm exchanging this one for a size up anyway. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about this particular collar, and I'll work on the one that I get the other one in. Um, this is really cozy. I like it. I'm not wearing shapewear, but you need it in this. And I'm thinking, and this is short, I'm thinking with tights, shapewear, and one size up, we'll have a winner. So what do you guys think? See, you need shapewear. And if I wanted to put hose on and add these cute little pumps that I got from Target, I think that would be super cute as well. If you're like going for a little more sexy, if you were going for a little more coverage than tights and booties. And I have dark gray booties that would be super cute with this too. So, um, but this is gonna go up a size. So like this fits, it's not that it doesn't fit, it's just snug and it's just, I'm not there yet with Things are going well, but I'm not quite there with my comfort level on where I want to be weight-wise, so I'm going to go up one size. Okay, let me go show my boyfriend, and then I'll be back with the next one. Okay, this one is, I'm sizing down in, because this one is um, too big, like up in here, and so it's just, it's just gaping funny. But this is a really pretty top too. I have it with my Vince Camuto scarf, but they're two different sparkle shades, so they're not going to go together, but for trying on purposes, I don't really have anything else down here to wear. Now the back of this is also super sexy. And here's the front. Isn't that cute? And again, I think that my sparkly pumps, let me get them. I like it. So this is super cute. You could wear it in or out. Um, I don't know if I like it better in or out. I can't decide, but I think I like it better out. Of course, I wouldn't wear it with this skirt, but let me show you guys. Because it tucked in, it kind of, the skirt's tight, so it kind of shows that I've tucked it in. And it's showing my lumps and bumps. So there it is tucked in. What do you think? So that's that one. So the last one that I've got to show you guys is the sequin dress. Isn't this great, guys? This is like a fantastic fashion. You should go request a box and you should ask for a holiday or a New Year's Eve, um, New Year's Eve box because it takes a little bit of time to get your box. So if you order now, you may get it before the end of December, but you probably won't get it by Christmas. So maybe ask for a New Year's Eve box so you can get um, some beautiful kind of festive wear for the new year. Okay, let's try the sparkle one on. Okay, uh, here is the sequin dress. Now, this fits great, but in a short, it's a mini skirt, but it, like I said, it needs shapewear. So let me show you the back first. So there's the back. It's cute. And I wanna kinda, kinda keep pushing it up, but I would, um, I would put heel, big heels on with this. Probably not the silver ones. I'd probably wear like solid black pumps with this. And then I would just have very simple, maybe gold hoop earrings with this or drops, gold drops, or I have like two gold bars that just come down. That might be cute with this. And then of course I'd wear the shapewear with it, but let's take a look at it. What? This is a woman's dress. This makes you feel pretty. it is short but short girls are supposed to wear short dresses it makes our legs look longer because we're so short so I like this for New Year's I think this is a great a great outfit okay let's recap I'll be right back okay keep keep but exchange for a size up Keep but exchange for a size down. Keep. Keep. I'm keeping it all. I love it all. Um, there's not one thing. I think this is maybe the first time 
that I've kept an entire box from Fashion, and I'm super excited. Thank you, Mouse. What a wonderful, fun box this was. This is seriously my funnest box I've ever gotten. Oh, really, really, oops. <laughs> really, really, really loved it. I feel like this should be a v-neck and it's aggravating me. <laughs> it's, all right, so um, we also do have our advent calendars to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish those up right now. I got a new one in, so we'll catch up. This one is by La Actane, um, which we have in our malls here. I don't know how much this was, $59 maybe? I don't really remember. I think it was $59, and if I can find a link, I will put it down for you. So we have five days to do here. So here it is. Let's see here, where's day, here's day one. Okay, so this is body shower oil, coulis de douche, <laughs> and shea oil. Um, let's see what it smells like. Hello. Let's put a teddy drop on. Oh, it's a very nice scent. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I took a bubble bath. That's what it smells like, like kid's bubble bath. Um, but there that is, that's day one. These are great stocking stuffers, stuffers too, if you are trying to do that. Okay, so where is day two? So then, let's do two. Where is day two? I see day three. Oh, here it is. It's hiding. Day two, right here. All right, this is a cream, a body lotion. Um, dry skin hand cream made in France. Cream mains for seiches. It doesn't really tell you, like, I don't know what, really, what scents these are. But I can open them and find out. A thick hand cream. I love these little hand creams that come like this in these little like, I don't know, metal containers. I just love them. I don't know, but I like that too. That's nice. All right. Number three. I just saw three. Here it is on the bottom. Let's move the bra I'm sitting on. <laughs> All right. Three is a soap. Go lay down, buddy. All right, this is Amande Savan Gourmand Delicious Soap. I can't... No. I can't really smell it through the package. And I don't understand French, so I don't know what it says. But I'll hold it up so you guys can see it. It's a good size little soap bar of soap. There it is. Okay, um, now we have to find number four. I think I saw it here, yep. It's up here. This is Verbena Body Lotion. Oh, I love Verbena. This might be the one that goes to work with me because I need some lotion at work because my hands get dry. Maybe if I can get it ever out. This is a great little box. Oh, I love that. That my, lemon vermeil is my favorite. Mmm. Okay. That lavender. I, I also like lavender. And then day five. Ooh, this looks pretty. Another hand cream. This one is cherry blossom. That one I can read. So I'm sure that smells good. I love cherries too. I'm just trim all. I guess I'm not going to be giving these away. I could. I could put in my daughter's something, in my daughter's box. Oh, that's a beautiful scent. Ooh, that's, that's my favorite. That and the lemon ver verbena. So this is, um, there we go, so you guys can see. Let's try it the right way. I think it's the right way. Hopefully that's showing for you guys. Okay, so that's getting us caught up on this new advent calendar. Um, does this go to 25 or does it, there's 24. This might just be a 24 day one. Let me just look and see. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, looks like it is just a 24 day calendar. So, all right, so let me go grab the other two and we'll, we'll do the other two. Okay, we have our next calendar and we are on day five. These are really super hard to get out. I've had to use like a knife to get these suckers out of here. I can't even get them open. They just made these super proof. This is a bright color. Look at this. This is soft matte lip cream. And in this like really, I don't know if you guys can see how, it's like a, it's like a fuchsia. That's gonna be fun. I'll wear that color. All right. And our glossy box, which I will have linked below. And I'm gonna find the Loctane one that I have. I think there's more than one. And I'll link that below too if you like the hand creams and lotions and things like that. Day five. Ooh, day five is a big one. It's right here. every day till Christmas. HD Flawless Pressed Finishing Powder. Brightening Banana by Absolute New York. Wow. That's pretty cool. Brightening Banana Finishing Powder. I need a pressed finishing powder. I do have a loose one. I think I actually prefer the pressed ones a little bit better. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys prefer, what do you guys like? Do you like the pressed powders better? Or do you like the, the loose powder? I just feel like I make a mess with the loose powder, so that's probably why I like the pressed powders better. Not that one does anything better than the other. I didn't know if it smelled like banana. They just gave like a neutral, anybody can use um, powder. That's a nice size. It's like a full-size pressed powder. All right, so that is our, our fashion box and our fun um, advent calendars. I'm going to close this one out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.